how did you feel about it? Well, I, I felt disappointed. Right. I, I felt like I'd let him down because it is more risky having a cesarean than yeah. having a natural birth. So I thought, you know, I was worried about him and obviously I looked into all the risks and well, you did... worried myself more than I should have done. I know, done. that's what I'm thinking. Because you're a doctor, because you've got this wealth of knowledge yeah. and you know things that we don't, does it make it worse? Because you kind of know what can go wrong. It probably does make yeah. it worse because I think as a doctor as well, you see all the worst case scenarios, you see the complicated labours and sure. when things go wrong. So I probably did have that in my head mm. more than I should have done. But, you know, the cesarean was fine. Was the recovery was really hard, harder than I thought it would be. In what way um, was it difficult for you? Just in terms of managing the pain and things like that. And I struggled quite a bit with the breastfeeding, just in terms of getting him in the right position and things like that. And just, you know, not being able to drive. Mm. Silly things. Things, that when you're a new mum yeah and you've also really got another hard. little one as well so that's difficult isn't it you can't you, you couldn't pick her up either when I was recovering so it was hard. how long just did it take you to get back to normal if probably it did take, take about six weeks yeah I mean the driving was a real thing that surprised me that I just didn't have that kind of independence that I wanted that but must have been really strange actually it was strange, yeah but luckily I had Pete really looked after me he's very good Perfect He's chauffeur. fantastic. <laughs> he really and looking after me as well as looking after the baby. That's the thing with a cesarean. Sure. You've got two, you know, two people that, mm. that need looking after mum and baby. I think sometimes people, you know, they might say they want an elective cesarean for whatever mm. reason, many reasons, whether it's medical, very occasionally it might be convenient. I don't think sometimes people realise just how tough it is. It's not the easy option at all. Oh, that's exactly what I thought because I was thinking when I found out I was going to have a cesarean I thought okay I've heard of two posh to push this has got to be the easy option mm. um, and I was just so shocked that it was so much harder and obviously I did have an easy birth with Millie yes so maybe I was you know slightly skewed from that perspective but yeah I was, I was really shocked at, at the recovery and I thought gosh this is not the not at all <laughs> this not is all. not not how it kind of how it appears because you always so, see um, that thing of you know like a businesswoman or something or some high yes. flyers they, right i'll just have the you know this is area in the morning because i've got a board meeting in the afternoon nonsense that is absolute nonsense. nonsense you know i can tell you that for a fact <laughs> having done both ways because you were there you are you're training to be a doctor and your life is going along that way and then here comes the whirlwind that is peter andre sweeps you <laughs> off your feet and then you, you are kind of you are kind of taken into this completely different world. It's quite nice though, because I can, you know, go to work and be me as a as a doctor, yeah. and then come home and a different role, you know, a mum, a wife, and yeah. obviously it's everything's different with Pete every day. We don't really know what's coming up next, so exactly. it's exciting. We get to travel and meet amazing mm. people and do amazing things, and then so, I go back to work and I'm <laughs> kind of, you know. Just back, everything's back to normal. Yeah, just get, get, just go back to work. It's, yeah. it's good. Do you enjoy? I mean, there's certain aspects that are not great. You know, the paparazzi and all the rest of mm. it, and all the you know all the baggage that comes along. That's not great. But on the whole, it's it's good fun. Well, I love being with Pete, so that makes any of the bad sides worth of it, really. Course, um, of course. But to be honest, I you know I can go around Sainsbury's. No one knows who I am, so <laughs> it doesn't really affect me at all. I'm I'm happy. That's um, lovely. You get the best of both worlds. I then. Know. But you were saying that you don't like social media so much because no. um, it's very interesting because a lot of people have been talking about that and how it can be so very dark mm -hmm. and, and so very destructive. And if you don't, I mean, they were talking earlier on Diana Abbott was on on GMB and um, they were talking about how politicians get such uh, I mean, unbelievable amounts of heat. It's ghastly. Mm. Um, it's it's one of the few downsides, isn't it? It's one of the few downsides. Because it must hurt you very much if people are, are horrible about your man. Yeah, I have it's to say that's why I'm not on Don't blame anything. You. Um, Don't I, blame you. I used to have Facebook and I, I shut my account down about four years ago just after Pete and I um, got together. Sure. And I, I've never missed it. I just feel like everyone is very much kind of looking down at their phones. And I quite like to actually look around speak to people that are in front sure. of you and not it's kind of like a virtual reality isn't it no, and it is, it is it's I a just, strange yeah it's a strange world it really is and it with is. you with you being a mum with you having kids and of course um, step kids as well they they're always in their foot you know it's really difficult I, I don't know how you i mean i would find it really difficult now having a young child and knowing what to do about these things you know i just think kids you know don't need to hear negativity and no. And unfortunately, people are negative on social media. And it's a real shame because it never mm. used to be like that. And it's no. a real, real shame that there, there are people. And you, you, what you have to do is just kind of ignore them. But it's very, very difficult. It's, you need a thick skin. You do. You I don't do. think I've quite developed that yet. So just I'm, stay I'm off happy it. staying stay off. Stay off it. Absolutely stay off it. And you know what? You, now, do you feel that you're kind of over the fact about um, having the cesarean and, and things are all right now and everything is, everything is OK? And would you have any good. advice to any mums sitting at home who are maybe thinking about it? not quite sure so we all have a birth plan don't we and then yes. you've just got to go with it because 
things happen. Do you know, I never had a birth plan for right. either of mine. And the reason for that was because I'd seen lots of labours where the birth plan just hadn't been stuck to and the mum had had kind of a degree of anxiety about, oh my goodness, I'm not sticking to my birth yeah, plan. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I always said to my midwife, I, I don't want a birth That's plan. That's really wise, um, actually. <laughs> and yeah, I don't know if that was a good or a bad decision, but it worked out for me, I guess. I think just, you just have to do what feels right for you. If you yeah. feel that that's having a cesarean, or if you feel, you know, you want to have a natural birth, at the end of the day, a lot of the time, you, nature takes its course of and course. you don't have a choice. Of course. So I think if, as long as you know all the facts about the risks and benefits of, you know, you just have to decide what's right for you. Very sensible. Emily, thank you thank for coming you in. It was so, so lovely much. to see you. So lovely to see you. Give my love to lovely Pete.